One of the things to notice when you're treating somebody in prone like this is the pattern of muscle development through the shoulder girdle. A lot of folks, as you're running between the blades, have got very little muscle that uh, holds their uh, scapula, their shoulder. So the owner's got quite a bit of muscle development there. A lot of folks don't. You want to have the same amount of muscle development between the shoulder blades as you do on top of the shoulder blade. So this is a this is a well balanced shoulder girdle. Another thing to think about when you're working with someone with a sore um, glenohumeral joint and and uh, hypertonic um, cyst muscles is that uh, the muscles that stabilize the shoulder girdle relative to the spine um, often need some treatment too. Because if they're tired or weak, then um, you're going to have more recruitment in here. So sometimes the only way to settle this business down is to get the knots out between the uh, spine and the shoulder blade. You can see the uh, lower border of the trapezius here, and then some tight fibers in the trapezius. Uh, sometimes it's nice to put that on a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> you can let that rest there. I want to drop the tone in those muscles. The rhomboids that tie the shoulder blade in, in this direction, can be treated in this fashion, from the spine out to the shoulder blade. Then the famous upper trapezius and the underlying uh, levator scapula that we see here need some uh, Need some attention as well. 